Hey gang, Dave Baker. Today, I want to take a look at the weapons wielded by the strongest warriors that ever lived. Presently, while everyone loves a test, it tends to be hard to watch this show, as they give candidates no opportunity to make their sharp edges. Any place from giving the competitors only three to five days to take a shot at a weapon, the pressure is at least genuine. For example, how about we take a gander at the 55-inch Claymore? Most bladesmith shops won't have anything set up in fashion, something that huge and powerful. Individuals find it quite unreasonable that they're setting up the candidates to come up short. A few candidates despise when the blacksmith put all their exertion into the ridiculous objectives, and it just causes them to appear incredibly similar to beginner bladesmiths. Meanwhile, other crowd individuals state that the reason they love the show is because it's genuine test-to-test -test individuals to work their hardest on their weapons. Such a fearsome and deadly group that even the Vikings were intimidated by them. Truly, while the show is doing acceptable, you can't conceal the way that the six seasons in the show is a dreary challenge. Four individuals, three judges, and one host. The first round is to consistently make the sharp edge. In the second round, there are three individuals left, and they make a deal to refining and cutting edge. In the third and last round, it's down to two individuals, and they return home to deal with their last weapon. While most fans do have fun and believe it's fantastic, there have been a few protests about redundancy, and they don't switch things up in the show. Therefore, it could get dropped up to six feet long, weighing up to eight pounds. This was the weapon of choice for the elite guards of the Lance Connect mercenaries. Presently, having a cooking show divine is engaging. Be that as it may, it tends to be extremely defective. For instance, fans have called attention that having this organization on the show doesn't bode well in light with the fact that fashion is fire is the specific inverse of a cooking appear. A cooking show is searching for a fruitful gourmet specialist who can function admirably under tension, be adaptive, and work rapidly. This is anyway not the situation for bladesmiths. As we've seen before, if bladesmiths work rapidly, it can't turn out well for them, leaving them pushed and with an awful weapon. A cooking show position simply doesn't appear to function admirably with these contenders, hence why a few people would state that it's a defective show. Light, fast cutting weapon. Truly one of my favorites. When we utilize cringy, it means increasingly about a portion of manner in which they test for these things. For one thing, we need to make a reference to the pigs or dead creatures that they use to slice through. There have been grievances on the show about utilizing these creatures and how it dismays people and actually just disgusts them. Envision, for instance, a creature devotee, veggie lover, vegan, whoever. What's more, they're watching the show. They could astonish them and even make a few people hurl. Of course, obviously, the creatures are dead, yet for certain individuals, that doesn't make it any better. Others have raised worry that a portion of the tests are exceedingly hard on the weapons, and ridiculous in doing so, which brings us to our next motivation behind why the show could get dropped. Now, this was a weapon that respects no armor. It was used by knights who had both strength and skill. This one ties into number four. Fans have brought up the amount that they love the weapons and regard the blacksmiths who make them. Nonetheless, fans have likewise communicated that it torments them, perceiving how intense the tests are and seeing even a few weapons break. One fan online shared that they truly did shout at the television while viewing a scene of the show where the sharp edge was demolished by the tests. Fans have called attention to the fact that the bladesmiths put their total all into the weapons and when they're decimated, it genuinely torments them. Or lift pikes out of the way. See, the size of the blade was enlarged to make it a very large cutting surface. Connecting to the last number, we can't reveal you what the number of individuals we saw online either tweeted about this issue or posted on sites or gatherings. This is a major blemish on how the show particularly perceives how hard the bladesmiths work. In view of that, fans have taken a stand in opposition when they try to witness the bombed weapons seeing the weapon self-destruct or break. Even after not watching the show myself, it actually breaks my heart to see all of that hard work go to waste. While it doesn't occur over and over again, when it happens, fans express their torment and disappointment. The doer of death, the doer of deadly deeds, the kill test master.
Alongside the monotony of the show, individuals are referencing that the show is getting more established. It's now on the sixth season. While that isn't a terrible thing, a few people have whined saying that in the event, they're not really amused by the show anymore, and it's getting pretty dull. At one point, they have to proceed onward and supplement the show with something different. A few fans will concur, while others get extremely cautious about this. Generally, however, we can see their point and can perceive any reason why individuals would potentially stop watching the show. A Hanzo's Katana's first duty is to kill. This explanation could be the top explanation for the most important, the security. While everybody is by all accounts semi-insured, there is still a great deal of things that could be diversively with regards to no security. Indeed, putting up on a security glass is not going to help. They need more security. There should be more well-being cautioning, and they have to show that they're attempting to shield everybody from the analyzer to the host to the judges to the bladesmiths. A fanatic of the show on Twitter stood up saying that they were playing a game where they take a shot each time there's a security infringement on the show. Fans have taken a stand in opposition to their interests on this well-being issue, yet the demonstration doesn't appear to the show signs of improvement about it. Your blade stayed true. Overall, sir, your blade will kill. Thank you. This is certainly not a significant protest on the show, on the grounds that the show appears to be really improving about this. Be as it may though, the History Channel is generally focused on middle-aged individuals. Recent college grads aren't getting into that show, on account of the show's advancement and where it's publicitized. On the off chance that the show doesn't deal with potentially elevating this to increasingly more extensive objective crowd, there could be a possibility of it getting dropped and losing deals or force. But what I love about your blade is how sharp your edge is. It cut into the skull, pieces of it came off. And what's important about this katana is, it will kill. Thank you, sir. Good job. This sort of associates back with our explanation of number nine. With regards to the candidates of the show, while they're all intriguing and skilled, they sort of are no different, and most are men. Not just that, they're moderately aged men. With less assortment on the show, you could have somebody make the most excellent weapon, but this show signs no signs of diversity. While showing signs of improvement, fans despite everything figure they can make up for superior showing bring greater decent variety of incorporation into the candidates. One fan on a discussion even referenced having a scene or two exclusively based for female or exclusively based for young grown-ups, and that accomplishing something to that effect could help with the perspectives and getting a greater objective crowd specifically. About your blade right here, first up, your handle feels good, it's got a nice shape to it that just fits nicely. I like the guard, I like the bronze that you have right there. I can immediately tell where the edge is. 